In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a YouTube ad campaign to get YouTube subscribers at an incredibly low price. Before we dive in, I want to show you a concrete example with some data. So this is a country list, and over on the right, we see a cost per conversion. In this campaign, that's effectively the cost per subscriber. So you can see in Spain, 18 cents a subscriber, Ireland, 22 cents, United States, 84 cents, UK, 48 cents, New Zealand, 29. So even if you're just doing... Uh, you know, expensive countries or tier one countries, you can get a, a very reasonable cost per subscriber. And doing this will also get you views and other engagement on your videos as well. What I don't know is like the long-term engagement of these subscribers. I've only started doing this campaign type more recently in the last couple of months. So I don't know like a year out, wh how, what percentage of the subscribers are gonna be active and engaged, but that's up for you to decide. I, I would recommend treading carefully with this campaign and maybe only diving in a little bit, do a hundred bucks, kind of see what, what it gets you. and. Uh, try not to get into a situation where 100% of your subscribers are coming from, from ads because I can't imagine that's going to be the best move for your channel long term, uh, but do it that as you will. So now let's dive in and actually do a campaign. All right, here we are inside of Google Ads Manager. If you're completely new to this stuff, consider checking my course, YouTube Growth Machine, down below or check out this video right here to kind of get familiar with the background. And also this whole video on how to run subscriber campaigns has actually been in my course for over a month. So you would have already known this. I think it's actually been two months now, which time flies, you know, 2024. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna click this new campaign button here and we're gonna do new campaign. Now, this whole campaign is contingent on the fact that you have your your YouTube channel linked to your Google ad account, um, which you can find in your settings under linked accounts uh, right there. That's how you link your account to your Google ads account. We're gonna click new campaign. And in here, we're gonna do website traffic. If you've ever seen me talk about YouTube ads before, you'll know that usually I'm doing an awareness and consideration because we're trying to get views and we consider cost per view, but in this case, we're doing website traffic. You're gonna see why in a sec. So going down here, it's gonna ask us about all of these conversion goals. And we're just gonna click add goal and we want engagements. And now up here, it popped up this engagements YouTube hosted one an active conversion event. Don't worry about this. That's just because I haven't run this campaign objective in this particular ad account for over a certain period of time. But basically, this is going to track subscribers for any channel that I have linked to it. And you're gonna see how we actually drive people to the channel later, but this is gonna trigger those events. And you could go in here and remove this contacts goal and this other goal and all this other stuff. This doesn't really uh, matter because you probably don't have these goals configured, but feel free to remove them if it makes you nervous. <laughs> so now we're gonna click continue, which is actually hidden behind my face. I'm gonna click continue button, select campaign type. We are doing a video campaign, right? We're trying to promote a music video on YouTube. So we are gonna click that, get more conversions with video ads designed to encourage valuable interactions with your business. We have a campaign. So let's walk through this. Uh, we're gonna name the campaign. I'm just gonna call it test campaign subscribers. Countries, this is entirely up to you. Uh, I showed you some examples of the cost per subscriber. Uh, if you want to just dirt cheap subscribers that are probably going to be low in quality, just say all countries and territories. Just be warned, you're probably going to end up with all uh, countries that you maybe don't care about. For example, you might end up with all the subscribers coming from uh, Southeast Asia, Africa, which if that's your goal, that's cool. Just keep that in mind. Those countries are very cheap to advertise to and they will steal all the budget. I would recommend doing kind of a tier one list. You could do US and Canada, you could enter in a location and add in, you know, US, UK, Canada, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, Austria, Australia, New Zealand, I don't know if I said that one already. Basically tier one countries that probably speak English. Well, in my case, my music in English, but we can also filter by English down here as well. Bid strategy, maximize conversions. Daily budget or lifetime budget doesn't matter, up to you. Let's just say we're gonna do a $100 test over two weeks. It's equivalent to about $6.70 per day. If you ever get a message like this, consider increasing your budget. That's really just the way they, they're trying to get you to spend more money because they're, they're a business and they want you to spend more money in ads. But one thing you can do for free is smash this like button and subscribe to this channel where I post videos every single week helping you with your music marketing. Networks. You can't customize it here just because of this campaign objective. Usually in an engagement video view campaign, I'm turning off display networks. I only want to run YouTube, but in this case, we don't have a choice. So we're just gonna run it as is. The audience targeting, we are gonna create an audience. And this probably is new to you if you've seen my other YouTube guides in the past. This is just a different way that they do it. Um, but you, you're essentially creating a custom audience here and we're including people 
who have interacted with custom segments that we're going to define. There is also this other category of stuff that's a little more broad, but for example, we can click in custom segments and go to browse. And um, these are previous ones that I've set up before, but I can click to create a new segment. And now in here, we can type in things like Lincoln Park, just because I use them all the time as an example. Uh, and if you don't see them come up, you can just click enter, right? And now it's gonna basically match that keyword. And if I were to say something like Post Malone, see this time we're actually getting some matches here. So Post Malone Better Now, Post Malone Album, Post Malone Music, New Post Malone Song, Sunflower Post Malone, etc. Um, and you can just add in things here that make sense for you. Not really a magic number in terms of size. I would probably try to get your audience at least this big, 50 million people. It's gonna depend on the countries you're choosing. Because uh, th this is not people actually, it's actually weekly impressions. Um, so you can actually have this be like one trillion. Uh, if I just type in like music, for example. Um, actually, that wasn't that big. If I if I just start adding a whole bunch of stuff in here, like it will get to the point where it says 100 billion to one trillion weekly impressions. So it's obviously not people, right? <laughs> it's weekly impressions. Every time someone sees a thumbnail, it's effectively an impression. So either way, you can make your audience, name it, and save it. I'm just going to close out of here. But once you have it there, you would just select it here. So imagine it's like this or something. And once you do that, you're going to get some, some insights based on this audience. So how much of it is male? What's the average age groups? What are they interested in? Etc. As long as just kind of double check that, make sure it looks good. Down here, you could set any exclusions if you have any. Uh, but you can also, more importantly, perhaps set your your ages and your uh, genders, if you know, or any other additional demographic information. For the most part, you're going to be messing with ages. Um, you know, I might do something like 18 to 44, and maybe exclude unknown, just to have it be a little more reasonable for my style of music. At this point, give it a name. I'll just call this test, but you would obviously name this whatever this is for you, <laughs> and then click save. So now we have our audience in there. It's going to load. And now we get to the next, probably the most important part, but also the kind of hack that makes this a little bit more effective. So one thing I can do is I can do, let's say, every waking moment. And I'm just gonna choose this video. So this is a lyric video from my band, Every Waking Moment, all kind of an alternative metal type of thing. Um, and I'm gonna click here, open this video and just to grab the URL. Well, actually, sorry, I'm not grabbing the URL. I'm actually gonna go to the channel page. So this is like the channel for the band. And I'm gonna grab the URL, so the channel URL that's at the top of the page. And if I flip back to Google Ads, I'm gonna paste that here as the final URL. And the reason why I'm doing this, this is the hack part. At the end of this, I'm gonna put question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. And if you're wondering what that is, if I copy this new link that I just made, so it's the same channel link, just to show you what it is here, it's got this question mark sub confirmation equals one at the end. If I put that in the URL, click enter, you're gonna see what happens. So you can see when I went to that link, it popped open this confirmed channel subscription. And that is part of what, what helps this campaign be so effective at generating cost per subscriber. Not only are we sending them to the, the, the channel page where the easiest action to take is just clicking that subscribe button, but it's actually popping up and making it a one button press for them to subscribe. It's just making it super in their face that you want them to subscribe. And so that's what that sub confirmation equals one code actually does. Now, the rest of the stuff you have to do here is you have to set a call to action. So you might do something like watch more or watch now. You might do a headline that is the name of the song, a long headline that is the name of the song, official lyric video or official music video in your case. Um, something like this, hard rock alternative metal band from Massachusetts. And that's effectively it. 
So if you're wondering how you can promote your music on streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music, you can check out this video here to learn the entire process from start to finish. And if you're interested in checking out my YouTube growth machine to learn more about this whole YouTube ads thing, you can check out my course, YouTube Growth Machine, right here. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.